Do you need a tool to help you organize your work and don't know which one to use? Or are you thinking of using Azure Boards, but you're not quite convinced yet? Let me tell you why you should start using Azure Boards right now, even if you are not hosting your code on Azure DevOps. Hey, welcome back. I'm Cornel Dave, and here we try and do DevOps just better. Today, we talk about Azure Boards, and I will try and give you 11 reasons why it is a good service to try out for all your work management needs. But first, a very brief introduction to the service. Azure Board is a standalone service within the Azure DevOps suite that helps team plan, track, and discuss work across the entire software development process. It provides a flexible, customizable platform for managing work items, such as user stories, bugs, tasks, and issues, so you can track your work items progress throughout the development lifecycle. Azure Board supports agile methodologies, including Scrum and Kanban, and provides a range of features and integrations to help teams collaborate and stay organized with dashboards, reports, and notifications. Last but not least, Azure Boards doesn't require you to have your code in Azure repos or use Azure pipelines for CI/CD, even though, of course, it works even better if you do. Now that we have a basic understanding of what Azure Board is and does, why should you use it? First of all, it is very easy to start with it and allows you to scale as you grow. Azure Boards offers predefined work item types for tracking features, user stories, bugs, and tasks, making it easy to start using your product backlog or Kanban board. As mentioned before, it supports different agile methods, so you can implement the one which suits you best. Additionally, you can add teams as your organization grows to give them the autonomy to track their work as they see fit. Next reason is that Azure Boards has plenty of visual tools to help teams quickly see and share progress. As we have seen, you can use Kanban Boards, which provide an intuitive and visual way to manage your projects, track work items, and collaborate with your team effectively, and product backlogs, which correspond to your project plan, the roadmap for what your team plans to deliver and include user stories, requirements, and backlog items. You can also use the built-in Scrum boards and planning tools, and finally, delivery plans, which allow you to review the schedule of stories or features that your teams plan to deliver by showing the scheduled work items by sprint or iteration path of selected teams against a calendar view. Third reason to start using Azure Boards is that it is very easy to configure and customize all of its parts through the user interface. You can make your own versions of Kanban boards, task boards, and delivery plans, as well as add custom fields, work item types, and portfolio backlogs. This will make sure that the tool adapts to your needs and processes and won't instead require you to adapt to the tool, which is very important. Another reason, the fourth, is the easy of communication. Work item forms provide built-in discussions that you can use to capture questions, notes, and communication as they occur. With this feature, you can maintain a history of what a team decides on any particular work item. And you can quickly bring a team member or an entire team into the conversation by using the at mentions. The fifth reason on my list is something we take for granted most of the time, but in fact, it's not always the case, information and storage. As I've mentioned before, work items are designed to track all the information you need to track. And this doesn't stop to normal text. You can in fact edit in rich text, drag and drop inline images, and add larger attachments. You can add attachments up to 60 megabyte and as many as 100 attachments. Also, you can link work items within a hierarchy or by simple related links. Each work item maintains a history of changes so you can review what changed, who made the change, and when. All right, we are about halfway through the list, but before we move on to the next reasons, hit the like button below if you're enjoying this video or you find it insightful. This will help this video to be seen by more people so they can benefit from it. And of course, it would mean a lot to me, thanks. Sixth reason to start using the service is that Azure Boards provides easy to use tools to help you quickly find specific work items as your project grows. You can follow work items to monitor updates and changes, use Pivot View to show work items assigned to you, or use the query engine to filter work item based on any field and use ad hoc searches with quick inline filters. You can also personalize your alerts for work items that are assigned to you or have been changed. Seventh, with Azure Boards, you gain access to many tools to generate reports and to support tracking status and trends. By using configurable dashboards, you can add one or more widgets to display the information and data you want, such as the backburn down widget. Along with dashboards, 
you have access to the analytics service. This service is optimized for fast read access and server-based aggregations. And by using analytic views and Power BI, you can create highly sophisticated reports on the project data of interest. And if that wasn't enough, eighth reason, project managers who want to use familiar tools can import and export work item queries to and from Microsoft Office Excel or import and export work items using CSV files. Excel supports adding work items, updating existing work items, adding links and attachment to multiple work items and more. You can also use native Excel feature to support other actions such as summing a column, copy and paste rows, fill down data into cells and much more. And you can gain even greater functionality by adding marketplace extension, many of which are free. And this is my reason number nine. An extension is basically an installable plugin that adds caps up cap da, da, da. An extension is basically an installable plugin that adds capability to, to Azure DevOps and in this case to Azure Boards. You can find those extensions within uh, Azure DevOps or in the Visual Studio Marketplace under the Azure DevOps tab. Also, by using the REST APIs, you can create your own extensions or tools to integrate with Azure DevOps and Azure Boards. Okay, all good. But Dave, I hear you say, I'm often working in mobility. I need something I can use everywhere, perhaps even on my phone. Well, it's your lucky day. A tenth of my list is in fact the mobile support. With Azure Boards, it's very easy to stay on top of changes as they occur. Because with the mobile browser and work item form, you gain on-the-go features to stay on top of the latest updates made to work tracking. When you click any work item link on your mobile device, it will open a mobile-friendly version of the work item. From there, you can update the work item or access all work items assigned to you or that you're following. Okay, what more after all we've seen? Well, last but definitely not for importance, reason for me to use Azure Board is that, well, you can start absolutely for free. And if your team is up to five users, well, you can keep it for free forever. Also, anybody in your team with a Visual Studio subscription gains free access to Azure Boards as well. And finally, you can add unlimited stakeholders users to it. If you want to know more about stakeholder users in Azure DevOps, check out the video I made about this subject. You can have the link up here and in the video description. All right, those were my 11 reasons to start using Azure Boards. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you're going to use Azure Boards or at least you want to give it a try. Also, in case you want, let me know why and if there is any feature you think it's missing from my list. Also, check out this video over here in which I show some of the other features of Azure Boards in action. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coded Dave.